Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video. Today's video is going to be a plan my week with me video and I am going to be color coding my planner. So I color coded my monthly spread. If you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is coachd underscore the career mom. And I shared some reels where I talked about color coding my planner spreads. It is really helpful when you want to see kind of your week at a glance, your month at a glance. So color coding helps to draw your eye to particular activities or types of activities so that you can organize your thoughts and your intentions for the day. So I use kind of a quick scheme where personal and school is the yellow highlighting, business is blue, and kids is the pink highlighting. The other things that I'm going to incorporate are these, are these, what are they? <laughs> these colored pens. And I have a love-hate relationship with this particular brand. I have a whole video talking about erasable, erasable pens. I was so excited. And then when I actually got the pens, mm, I was kind of underwhelmed to say the least, but we're gonna roll with it. So I think I'm gonna incorporate two other colors for the pens. Well, yeah, and I'm gonna use the black one as well. Am I, mm, am I gonna use the black one? We'll use the black one as well. So yeah, so let's get into this week's planner spread. But before we move any further into the video, I just wanna welcome anyone who's new to my YouTube channel. My name is Debronetta, and I love all things planning here on my channel. I talk about time management, productivity, planning your week, planning your budget, and a little bit of mom life sprinkled in. I'm so excited that you are here. And if you are a subscriber from way back when, welcome back, thank you for rocking with me. So in this planner spread, um, I do like the happy planner that you can take out you know, the pages so it's easier to write. And for this week, I am planning for September 5th through September 11th. If you're watching this video at a later time, this technique still works regardless of what week we are in. So I wanted to just really walk through how I plan my activities. So color coding is something that I started with the month of September. And I do think it's something I'm gonna continue on as I go throughout um, the weeks, just because I have, like I said, so much going on with you know balancing kids' activities, right? My kids are back into their respective extracurricular um, activities. So I'm gonna go ahead and start highlighting some of that while I'm talking about it. So pink is gonna be for the kids. Um, yeah, pink is gonna be for the kids. <laughs> And I'm just trying to keep my day straight because we have quite a bit going on this week as we get back into the groove of kids' activities. This planner is my catch-all planner. So it will encompass kids' activities, work. It'll also have um, you know, business stuff later in. I don't go into detail with like business activities in this planner. I do use my R Vista planner for that. And that helps me to, you know, keep this high level. But if I need to deep dive into specific things, then I do that in my um in my R Vista planner. So I started highlighting um some of the activities I know offhand. And it's always important to reference your, it's always important to reference your um, monthly spread when you're planning out your weeks. When I plan for my month, that's where I capture my goals and some of like the major activities that feed into each other. So I know this week I do have an IG Live that I want to do on Monday. I'm gonna tackle that in the morning. So I'm just going in and layering some other, um, you know, areas for business things. And it was something else I highlighted on the 8th. I'm not even sure 
what I wanted to do there, but it's something. So we're gonna highlight it. <laughs> I think I'm doing a live. I just don't know what the live is. And I think it's going to be on um, Facebook. So if you're not a part of my Career Mom community Facebook page and the Career Mom and Mompreneur Success Circle, I'll leave a link to the description in the description box that um, will take you to those respective pages. And while I'm on that subject, I do plan with me lives in the group for right now, but I am building out a online academy and community where we can connect and talk about goal setting, planning, time management, productivity. It's going to be a fabulous community where we are going to connect and engage with each other, hold each other accountable, have a few, you know, sipping chats to just talk about some of our visions, our goals, dreams, aspirations to let our hair down, have a little bit of self-care. So stay tuned for more to come on um, registering for that online academy and community. If you are not on my email list, I'll leave that in the description box as well so that you can stay in the know when all of that information becomes available. So let's keep going with this particular week. I think I have everything accounted for. No, I don't. Um, I am starting a 21-day fast as well on Tuesday. And I don't want to put it under like personal and because it's personal slash school is this color. So I'm going to put it under... I'm just gonna give personal another color so it'll be separate from school and I will put it here at the top because this is the start of the 21 day fast. All right, y'all, for all of my get it done section, it is all school related. So I just highlighted it as such. Um, the next thing that I am going to do is, I don't wanna account for any errands. I think I'm gonna do some of the noted um, items that are going to be more, I guess, kind of personal related. Since I am doing the 21 day fast, there are certain foods that I need to go grocery shopping for. Um, so maybe that will be accounted for as like an errand for um, like fast foods. <laughs> not as in like, um, not like fast foods as in quick and easy foods, but foods for the 21 day fast. Um, I know there are certain things that it, it's really um, no process like meats. Um, well, no meats at all. No meats, no sweets. Um, it's mostly like whole grains, sprouted grains and vegetables pretty much and lots and lots of water. So um, there goes the pumpkin spice, everything coffees. <laughs> for uh, the next 21 days, but I, I know God will get all the glory from this time. <laughs> so nonetheless, I do know I need to um, do that. I'm trying to think, I don't think there's any other major errands that I have to run this particular week. So I might repurpose that um, and do just like some other bullet points and things to check off. My focus for this week will be heavy on the school and making sure that my kids have a good start to their activities, which are color coded here. Um, this is like focus time for school, like a study time. And then this is business, um, a work block for business. And this is the, uh, what is this? The study hall that we have for school. So I'm trying to keep things kind of coordinated where I'm really being intentional with my time so that I am getting things done. I do know when the kids are at one of their activities on Wednesday, I can overlap it. Oops. I can overlap it with some school time because I'll be in the lobby waiting, right? 
so I can get some things done prayerfully for school at that time um, and things like that. So I'm trying to be very thoughtful and intentional with um, my time and what I need to get done. I think I'm gonna create another school block here. Um, and then like I said, my focus is on school. But I also have um, the work that I'm doing to build out the community, um, the online courses, and like the community calendar. So I want to get a few things done for that. But this week, I really I, I want to focus on school for this particular week. But there are some elements that I'll need to get done in preparation for the launch of the online academy. So I want to get at least two modules. Um, recorded, um, lo launched, I guess launched might not be the best word, and then the worksheets, because I'm heavy on the worksheets in this um, academy. So if you do decide to join the online academy, then just know you're going to have worksheets that's really going to walk you through um, being more productive finding your purpose, finding your passion, getting in your groove, accomplishing your goals. So it's really going to be um, a great opportunity for the ladies who do join. So two modules recorded, launch, worksheets, all of the things related to that, and then heavy on the school, as you can tell with all of to -do, the to-dos here. So I'm liking this color coding technique. The other thing, I did put like major work to-dos on Wednesday. I have, I'm not gonna be able to fit all of my meetings. I do have like an extra sheet of paper that I roughly sketched my work um, meetings on. They won't fit here. I have like back to back meetings on Wednesday. I think I started like 8 a.m. I have an 8 a.m. meeting and then like back to back meetings. So they're like back to back. And then let's see, are there any ones that I really want to call out? Um, <clears throat> excuse me for work. It's a mixed bag. There's some meetings related to a volunteer initiative that I'm working on. I have my one-on-one -on -one with my, I have a one-on-one -on -one with like some team members. I have a conflict, like double booked. So I need to focus on clearing up my double bookings. Let's see, anything else that I want to note? Um, like a brainstorming meeting. Um, I have like an ideation meeting and then I go until 4.30. Um, so I'm mindful of pickup. All right. So Wednesday, it's heavy on the meetings. Um, Tuesday, I have, I'm trying to make sure that it doesn't smear. I do have a meeting that's at 4 p.m. And I'm capturing those because I do, again, need to be mindful of my pickup time. I'm not sure if my, we have a standing like 8 a.m. meeting on Friday for work. I'm not sure if that's gonna be canceled or not, but I am hosting a call at 12.15. Hosting a call. And I'm not gonna document or note my early morning meeting just because if it gets canceled, then I don't have to worry about erasing it on 
Monday, I do want to log on briefly, but I'm going to do just one hour email prep. And then I need to um, training registration. Okay. So that's that for major work to do's. Hold on, Thursday. Um, um, a lot of uh, catch up and prep. on Thursday. All right. Now, those are my major work to do's. I'll go in and fill out my business activities, what those are. And I think this is a good place for me to go ahead and pause this um, and go in and fill out my um, specifics off camera. I won't go into details of you know where my kids need to be <laughs> um, and the types of activities that they're doing on camera. But yeah, so I'll go in and put that down. I'll put down the um, specifics for school, for business. Again, make sure that you are joining my email list if you want to stay in the know for some of my um, trainings that I host around planning productivity and strategy. So make sure that you join my mailing list, but I'm going to conclude with a quick scripture and I'm going to put that in the noted section. So here you have it. This is my weekly spread for the week of September 5th. I'm excited to dive into this week. I don't want to rush it along, but I want to embrace the journey and all that we have to get done this week. But yeah, and then I put the scripture, Isaiah 55 and 11. So my word that comes from my mouth will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I please and will prosper in what I send it to do. So may that encourage you as you are planning for your weeks ahead, or if you're watching this at a later time, may that encourage you to just keep going and know that what you are called to do will accomplish the plans that God has for you. So be encouraged. Have a great week. Make sure that you hit subscribe. Sign up for my mailing list. Give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know what you think about the color coding or the highlighting method or this kind of pseudo time block planning technique. Let me know in the comments. I'll follow up with any questions and I'll be reading those for any insights that you may have to share. Happy planning, y'all. Have an amazing week ahead.